Hi, I'm Amy. I'm a scientist at Rutgers, but I'm also a farmer. I work hard to grow food and raise animals here in New Jersey. Here I am with one of my favorite turkeys. So you've probably heard that our planet is getting much too warm because of things people have been doing for many years that add heat trapping gases like methane and carbon dioxide to the air. And one of those things that people have been doing is wasting food. Now, we know where food waste happens most along the food system, like on farms, in restaurants, and even at our own homes, but let's go over some of the impacts of food waste and why we should all do our part to reduce the amount of food we throw out. Food waste wastes water. 25% of all the water we use in the United States is thrown out as food waste, just taking all that water right into the trash. So think of all the water needed to grow the plants we eat, all the water that livestock like cows, pigs, and chickens drink, and all the water needed to grow the food that the animals eat. So when we waste food, it's like we're just letting water flow down the drain. Did you know that producing one hamburger uses 660 gallons of water? You could take a five hour shower with that much water. Not that anyone would want to. And speaking of water, some of that food waste ends up in our oceans or lakes and throws off the balance, which can hurt sea creatures. Food waste also wastes energy. Think of all the gas needed to power harvesting equipment on the farm, all the gas needed to truck all the produce across the country, the electricity needed to sort and process food, Think of all the electricity needed to store food and keep it cold. When food is wasted, we're also wasting all that energy. Food waste also wastes land. Think of all the farmland needed to grow food or graze livestock. We also waste land because we need to store our wasted food in landfills. All of those acres of trash could be used for something more useful rather than for food that goes uneaten. Food waste also wastes money. Think of all the groceries your parents buy and how that money is wasted if that food is thrown away. Think of how expensive it is to eat in a restaurant and how that money is wasted if you don't take uneaten food home. It's like that money is flushed right down the toilet. Food waste also wastes effort. Think of all the farmers that grew those vegetables, fruits, and who raised those animals. Think of all the workers who harvested those crops, sorted them, and shipped them out. Think of all the drivers who trucked food to the supermarket. All that effort is wasted when we waste food. Food waste also wastes love. Farmers love their land, their crops, and their animals. Workers care about the produce they're harvesting for you. Don't let all that love be lost on wasted food. Food waste wastes everything. But there are also more environmental impacts. Food waste in landfills produces a harmful chemical called methane because the food cannot break down properly. Methane is a greenhouse gas which contributes to the warming of the Earth's atmosphere, sometimes known as global warming or climate change. Remember, the Earth's atmosphere is an important part of the Earth's climate system, and it can be impacted by food waste. Composting food waste and scraps will help reduce the methane produced. Reducing food waste will also help reduce carbon dioxide, which is another gas that leads to climate change. Carbon dioxide comes from all the trucks, equipment, and energy needed to get food from the farm to our tables. Using all of our food will make sure that we don't produce carbon dioxide needlessly. Fortunately, there are solutions to this big problem, solutions that scientists and people in communities and schools like yours are helping to put to work. For example, college students in many U.S. cities have developed smartphone apps for helping connect extra food from big meetings, parties, or leftovers from restaurants to people nearby who need food at home. And many schools across the country have started composting programs.
In many communities, people also donate food that would otherwise be wasted or thrown away to food banks and charity organizations like soup kitchens or homeless shelters. Now that you've learned about the impacts of food waste and how communities are trying to protect the earth, let's go over some ways that you can help too. Think for a moment about the number of times each day that you throw away the food on your plate, on your lunch tray, or from your lunchbox. If we want to reduce the amount of food we throw away, it helps to first think about why we waste food. Those reasons are different for each of us. Maybe you don't like what's in your lunchbox, so you throw it out. Or you can't finish all the food that was packed for you. What can you do instead? Can you bring what's left or uneaten back home or eat it for snack later in the day? In the last video, my friend Jen told you about a few things you can try. Do you remember any of those? How about only taking the food we know we want to eat and are hungry enough to eat? Don't load up your plate if you don't think you can eat it all. We call that having eyes bigger than our stomachs. Also, if you're trying a new food for the first time, try a small amount first. If you like it, you can probably take more. Another very important way to reduce food waste is to eat leftovers. Eating leftovers helps reduce food waste, can be very yummy, and saves your family money too. Some foods, like fruits and vegetables, can sometimes go bad quickly, even if we put them in the refrigerator. So another way to reduce food waste is instead of letting fruits and vegetables go fuzzy in the back of the fridge, you can freeze those foods to preserve them. That way, they can be safely eaten at a later date. If these other things aren't enough, there are many foods that can be composted instead of throwing them away. Apple cores, banana peels, the ends of a carrot, we can save all of those to add to a compost pile at home or at school. In the compost pile, they'll get turned into soil for the garden eventually and won't add methane to the air. One of my favorite ways to be a food waste and climate change hero is to eat funny looking foods. Many fruits and vegetables get thrown out because they have a small bruise, a funny bump, or an odd shape. These foods are perfectly good to eat, they just need a little trim or you can eat around the funny part. These are some ways you can be a food waste and climate change hero. Which ones will you try? 